Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Air Force has involved in massive spree of air combat exercises. Recently, it has concluded 16-day bilateral air exercise Veer Guardian 2023 with Japan Air Defense Forces in Japan. Indian Air Force is also participating with 5 LCA Tejas, 2 C-17 aircraft and 110 personnel in exercise desert flag at uae which will commence from 27th february and will continue till 17th march on 26th february indian air force contingent of 145 air warriors departed from air force station jamnagar for participating in exercise cobra warrior at weddington air base of royal air force uk the exercise will be conducted from 6th to 24th of march 2023 Air Force has sent 5 Mirage 2000, 2 C17 and 1 Ilushin IL-78 mid-air refueler. In this exercise, air forces from Finland, Sweden, South Africa, USA and Singapore will be participating alongside Royal Air Force and Indian Air Force. Now, our next update is related to the G engine and its various variants development which is going to happen in India. So recently it has been reported that G Aerospace has provided nearly 60 F404 G IN20 engines for LC Tejas Mark 1. In 2021 the firm has signed a big contract to deliver 99 engines to support the serial production of LC Mark 1A. The delivery of these engines is expected to commence from March 2024 and complete by 2028. 29 by when most of the LCA Tejas Mark 1A will be delivered to the Indian Air Force. In future, Indian Air Force will be inducting six squadrons of LCA Mark 2 and two squadrons of AMCA Mark 1. Indian Navy will also induct its futuristic Ted BF fighter jet. All these aircrafts will be powered by G F414 INS6 turbofan engines. For LCA Mark 2, G has already got the contract for F414 INS6 turbofan engine. It is an upgraded version of F414 baseline capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. G Aerospace has also applied for an export license for jet engine production and phased tech transfer in India. The US government has also committed to expedite the review of license applications submitted by G to produce jet engines in India. Along with manufacturing, the maintenance, repair and overhaul of these engines will also be done in India. Now next update is related to the marine gas turbine engines from G. Since 1986, HAL's IM Duty Division has been providing assembly, inspection and testing. AIT of G's LM2500 marine gas turbine engine which is installed on Indian Navy's P17, P17A and INS Vikrant. As on date, HL has delivered 22 LM2500 gas turbine engines for 11 Indian naval vessels. The engine powers a broad spectrum of ships ranging from 230 tons to 55,000 ton displacement. This gas turbine has other applications such as power generation compressor application ONGC Mumbai has 5 of these units operating in its offshore platform GE will also outfit LM250 engines on IS Vikrant with a package of digital enhancements which includes GE's smart signal software which alerts the operator to equipment conditions that could cause engine damage on 14th February 2023 GE Marine and HL have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore the expansions of HL's manufacturing capabilities to include assembly inspection and testing that's AIT of LM 500 series of marine gas turbine engine the MOU will allow HL to perform AIT for LM 50 marine gas turbine engine for the use in indigenous 4 megawatt gas turbine generator for possible installation abroad future indian naval vessels the LM 50 is derived from G's CF 34 aircraft engine and is installed globally in naval applications for both mechanical propulsion and power generation further hl and g are also working to enhance the indigenous content in both 
LM2500 and LM500 projects in line with the government's policy of Make in India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.